Okay, Richard White, Senior Fellow, Hudson Institute. Right, I don't know if there's a, a single solution or one that would achieve the end you laid out, which would eliminate that, because I think the violence is probably caused by multiple reasons, different people support her for different reasons. You're right, military force can sometimes uh, address in a threat, but it's not the universal solution. Uh, President Obama has made an effort to try and address some of the, the sources of alienation, uh, for example, among Muslims towards the United States, and that's had mixed results, some success, but not as much as we hoped. Um, economic prosperity would help. Um, one problem we have, which I don't know how you address, is the way technology has allowed the spread uh, and proliferation of the tools of violence. It's now uh, easier for a single individual or a group to yeah. inflict a lot of punishment in a way in which a century ago it wasn't. So we talk about World War I, we're looking at how uh, terrorist groups were able to kill a single person. Now we worry about terrorist groups destroying an entire city, you know, through weapons of mass destruction or something. And that's, that's a problem because that's an, an irreversible trend. Turkey has been a strong source uh, for, uh, uh, in, in the Muslim world and just in general as a force for secularism, a force for moderation. Um, and that's served a useful purpose throughout Tur uh, Turkey's history and its partnership with the West. And I think that's, I'm glad we have that partnership. Um, with respect to the four billion, I, I think uh, trillion. I, the U.S. of course didn't know when it intervened that that, was, that would be the cost. So I don't. I think if people knew that, we wouldn't have intervened. Um, but in terms of going forward, I do believe it's the U.S. position now to limit the use of military force and to try and partner more with local allies. So we've been working with Turkey, for example, to address some of the problems we have in Syria, in Iraq, in Afghanistan. Uh, and that's certainly a partnership I expect will continue. Um, I mean, President Obama has tried to to work in partnership with Turkey and others to address these these concerns. Now, um, it's a limited effect because, as I mentioned, there are multiple causes. Um, uh, President Obama succeeded in some areas. I think the relationship between Turkey and the United States is much better now than it was when he came into office. Um, and I think that it's also improved with some, particularly a number of European countries. It hasn't improved as much as we would like in the case of, for example, Iran uh, or Syria and so on. And you can argue about why, whether, whether it was really mistaken U.S. policies or other factors. Again, I think it's probably a bunch of factors at work that's hard for any one country, be it Turkey, be it the United States, to control. I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's hard how much to say how much influence Russia has. We used to think this about Iran, that if Russia were to join the West, it could force Iran to stop its nuclear program. Um, that has not been the case. And it's, it's probably the same argument people say about the United States and Israel. If the U.S. were to f put its foot down, we would stop the settlements and force Israel to give up the occupied lands. Whereas I don't think that's the case. I think that with the Tehran, uh, with with uh, Tel Aviv and in Damascus, the, the local people, the government's resistance, often it backfires. So in the case of Israel, when they took a very strong stand against the settlements, Netanyahu's popularity would rose. And I think Assad would defy Putin if he were to tell him to leave. I think it would have to be uh, a, a more a creative solution, maybe cutting off arms supplies, doing other things. Certainly Russia's strong support for the Assad government is as facilitating its ability to stay in power, particularly the weapon sales. But even if Putin were to stop, Russia to stop, there's still the problem about the support that's coming in through Iran, Hezbollah, and so on. Yes, I'm hopeful too, but it's it's hard. It's, it's hard, gonna take yeah. a long throw. I'm glad that you're 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 working for that and I hope that our discussion contributes to people's understanding of these issues.